chicken thread. It has a very crispy outer layer of uh, samosa leaves. It's worn with samosa leaves and it's fried very evenly in the inside of the chicken. And this is also an iftar special recipe because you can just make it, freeze it and it stays very long. You can take it whenever you want and fry it. Not only during iftar, you can make it at any time. It is also very good for eating with parathas, chapatis and you can have it as a snack in your tiffin also. So without any further ado, let's see how to make this crispy chicken thread. In this recipe, I won't be showing you all the ingredients but I would rather be showing you a rough go through on all of them because this recipe requires a lot of ingredients in the sense spices but in a very small amount. So first itself, I have 400 grams of chicken and these are chicken breast and I've cut it into thin slices so that when we fry it, it's fried evenly everywhere and I've done the same thing to all my chicken pieces. Then into this let's add in 1 tablespoon of pepper, 1 teaspoon of turmeric, 1 tablespoon of chili flakes, 1 tablespoon of garlic paste, 1 tablespoon of chili paste, 1 tablespoon of chili powder, 1 teaspoon of white pepper powder, 2 tablespoons of yogurt and a pinch of food coloring. Um, it's not at all necessary you add it. I just wanted to take the photo from my thumbnail. Clearly that's the reason I'm adding this food coloring. It's not at all necessary if you're making it at home. Then one teaspoon of soy sauce, salt to taste, two tablespoons of corn flour, the same amount of flour, And lastly one egg. So now let's start incorporating all these ingredients with our hands. I'm simply using a pair of gloves. Now all our ingredients have started incorporating in very well. Now let's keep this aside for just about 30 minutes so, all, so that all the taste of those spices get stuck inside the chicken. Now it's ready after marinating for 30 minutes itself. Now let's keep this aside. Next here I have some samosa leaves and I'm using Swiss quality. You can use anything that is easily available to you. So take pretty much about 10 to 20 leaves or how much you'll require take out about two to three at a time or else it will be very hard to cut through so you have to do the same thing you have to roll it and just press it at the side so that it breaks apart a little bit and then take a knife and cut thin strips out of it as you can see mine is really thin you can cut it according to the thickness that you want, but don't make it too thick or too thin. So that's done, just shuffle it here and there. And then let's keep that apart and take the second um, part of the samosa leaves. And do the same thing with all of it. Now when that's also done, give it a last shuffle and take a damp cloth and cover it so that it doesn't dry off. So take out a piece of chicken, keep those samosa leaves and then just cover it around. You can also just um, wound it around if you want but this is an easier method. Just use your hands and do it however you want. And this was not my recipe, this was one of my friends. Her name is Adiba. She used to bring it in class, so I just used to love it. I used to take it from her and eat it. Once I just asked her for the recipe and she gave me. So thank you Adiba for that. Now let's come back to the recipe. Do the same thing with all your chickens. And then we can start frying. Just let's put a samosa leaf inside the oil and see if it's bubbling and cooking. And if it does, you know that your oil is hot. 
then you can start putting all your chicken pieces your threaded chickens my mother is helping me out with this because i'm pretty much scared to touch oil hot oil if you want you can just close the lid and fry it so that um the inside is cooked very well so keep it for about 2 to 3 minutes in one side and then flip it over to the other side Now one side of my chicken has um fried up very well so let's flip it over so that the next side also gets fried evenly So now all of my chicken pieces are fried up very well. You can transfer it to another bowl. So now I have a small piece right here to just show you how the inside looks. Just a close up. So let me just cut into it and show you. It's really crispy. I can hear the crunch. And that's how the inside looks. It's evenly fried with a good outer layer. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked it. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And also click the notification bell so that you know when I come up with a new recipe. Thanks once again and bye-bye.